Hey fellow wastelanders, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys a guide of the railway. So let's get into this. We are here at Watoga station as you can see right here in the map and you can also get this plan at the Watoga shopping plaza. We're going to go into Watoga's vendor bot right here and go to plans. I already know all the plans for the railway but this is where you're going to have to buy a few of the plans because you can't scrap the weapon to get these plans. So, the railway would, will cost 1,418 caps. Other plans you want to get for the railway is the railway automatic piston receiver. This is what I mainly use because it's better to use that over the prime receiver. You will also have to buy the Railway Rifle Log NV Scope, or Night Vision Scope, the Medium one, and the Short one, if you want those ones. Because unfortunately you can't get them out of scrapping. Now that we are at a workbench, I'm going to show you guys how to craft the Railway. It is in mach machine guns, and you go down until you see the Railway. I would recommend being level, level 50 to craft one. As you can see, this is all the materials it will take. Okay, now let's go to my railway, what I like to use. It's all the way down here. This railway is one of the best railways in the game. The quad explosive, 15 reload. I would recommend this, but it's really hard to get. So, these are the mods you want to get. Automatic piston receiver, this is what you want to put on. You can get the prime receiver out of doing queen, but I wouldn't recommend using that because it uses a lot of resources. The second mod you want is long barrel. Then the next mod you want is recoil compensating stock and reflex sight. You, co you could go for more VAT accuracy, but I like to go for less VATs. So I can shoot longer in vats. So you're not going to put any muzzle on. And if you have a skin, I would recommend putting it on. Here's a little test what we're going to do on Merla Queen. This is without any buffs. And as you can see, I'm killing her really fast. Now, let's get into Westec. I'm going to be showing you guys how much damage I'm doing to one of the super mutants in Westec. Now. If you ever want to grind steel in West Tech, you could pick up all the weapons and scrap it. And this is a good way to grind for your railway spikes. So you could be using your railway and then gaining more railway spikes. As you can see, I'm doing a lot of damage there with the railway. This is one of the best weapons in the game and I would recommend you to get it. I'm going to be showing you guys a bit of my build, but I will put the build in the comment section or you could go to one of my videos the best bloody commando stealth build in fallout 76 i hope you guys enjoyed this video like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace